what is going on guys so in tonight's video we're going to be doing just a chill unboxing uh we got a package from the elemental fragrance i am super stoked this thing looks tremendous i got me my glass i'm gonna pour me up a little bit of wine kick back and just unbox this y'all can chill with me Smell it. So this is the packaging here. That looks really nice. Dope pitch on the front. Very nice solid packaging here. Open this up. And then you are met with this box. Gorgeous little design here. Got a message here on the front. So let's adjust my camera. It says only if they could smell as good as you. <laughs> awesome. Also has a picture on the back. Now his packaging even his website, it gives me uh, Godfather uh, vibes. Whenever I see that, for some reason, I get like Godfather vibes. And um, yeah, it's pretty dope so far. Tremendously impressed with the website, just the layout, the, the name of the fragrances, the note layouts that they have. So we're going to open this bad boy up. See what we got inside. I mean, just the branding is tremendous, yo. Very intentional with the branding. I can't argue with that at all. Love that. That's good enough to put on a, as a post on the wall almost. Love that. The bottom, the animalfragrance.com. Got the Instagram info and email info as well. And the name of the, the genius behind it, Luke Solomon. Both biblical names. I mean, just just this packaging, yo. I gotta take another picture of this. I took a picture and uploaded it a second ago of the the outside packaging. Now, open this up. And we got this here. I'm gonna assume that this might be like a note key, but ain't no telling. It could be a CD for all we know. I'm going to set that to the side. And here's another one. This one is in white. Another envelope. It's just... <laughs> build your anticipation for everything. And then we have this uh, black paper here. And we are met with a gang of samples. Just a gang of samples. Very nice, uh, very nice vials here. Nice and tall. And it looks like a music, like track list. One mogul, empress, ambiguous, abstract mortals, rose of the woods, Morris, grand, the grands. Leather Boy, Rich Folk, The Erotic Ones, Cashmere Sex, Midnight Violet, Ood People, Soul London, and Radiance. I love this. This is dope. So this is... Oh, so he has marked on the back which one it is. Okay. So this one here is Radiance. Okay. This is abstract mortals this one is mogul this one is rose of the woods ambiguous empress 
Oh, I love the juice color on this one. Is this Ood People? Yep, that's exactly what it is. I love the juice color on that one. That might be the one I want to smell first. This one is So London. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... I don't know if we're going to smell all of these. I might, I might smell a few. And then I'll save some of the uh, impressions of it for the live video that we're going to be doing. Need you guys to tune in this coming Thursday. Uh, very solid packaging, yo. I just, I'm very impressed with this. Tune in next Thursday, and we will possibly have Sir Luke come in and join us and talk a little bit with us uh, about what he got going on, what he's working on, and um, maybe answer a few of our measly questions. So I want to open this up here. Let's see. Let's see what this black envelope is. <laughs> trying to get this bad boy open it's another card here the company name marketing amazing photographs as well and these are the type of things that will set you apart you know and allow you to stand out a lot more than another company I was trying to pull it out of there but I just got to rip it out Okay. Some more of his photography. Look at that. That's dope. Very, very sharp imaging. Uh, very good uh, storytelling. And uh, visual concept that you can capture with these photos. And it's another track list here. says ignite your senses with romantic timeless and unforgivable scents from the elemental fragrance company through mesmerizing fragrances that personify the unforgettable lovers friends and family our fragrances are seductive and symbolic like the women and men who inspire them the fragrances symbolize the quest for romance love friendship and passion from the light citrus top notes to the lotus rose and middle notes cedar wood oud and bottom notes there is an ideal fragrance profile for everyone. Awesome. And that is the track list here. I mean, he's really just really drives home the image, the concept, the branding. I love it. Sometimes people people will tend to try to forget, and sometimes you gotta remind them. And it's a, a lovely note. Michael. Thank you for the interest in the elemental fragrance. Enjoy Luke Solomon. Now, if that doesn't make you feel all warm and tingly inside, I don't know what will. Presentation is spectacular, yo. Um, supremely impressed. Supremely. Uh, like I said, he gave me a ton of vials to check out. I And this isn't even all of them. So I got some more down here. Some more down here. <laughs> you know, this is... I have plenty to go through and check out. So what we're going to do... I want to check out... Ooh, people, for sure. Um, Let's check out... Ambiguous. Let's check out... Leather Boy. And we'll pick one more. Mogul. We'll check out Mogul. I was hoping I could get a sample of Wealth, but I think uh, that's a that's a collab he did with the Wealth guy, so I don't think that one was available.
I mean, just this beautiful package, man. I can't wait to get everything lined up and take a good picture of all this because this is pretty cool. First one's up. Ooh, people. They're popping fireworks outside. All right. <clears throat> Coffee beans. A lot of people say that that doesn't work. For me, it does. So there's that. All right. I'm going to put a little on skin. And I'm going to smell the dabber as well and see what I get. Oh my God, that is the sweetest. Oh, that is so pleasant. It's so sweet and creamy, yo, for oud. Yeah. Even off the dab, I ain't even smelled it on my skin yet. It is so sweet and creamy and bold and full. You know how some scent sometimes will smell empty? Or it smells like they didn't finish it, or it smells like it's slightly incomplete, or there's no direction. This is a nice juice, like it's a juicy type of a oud. It's creamy, it's juicy, full, bold. It smells like it's kind of fruity almost. Oh man, it smells like there's maybe like some caramel or something like that in there. some vanilla like that smells great yo that is a that is a pleasant oud you get some ouds that are sometimes you know that acquired sort of a vibe to it and and that's for the most part that's how ouds tend to work it's like oh you know it's not for everybody it's an acquired taste you gotta really have a distinct nose i feel like this is a oud that you can give to you can show a showcase to anyone at any stage and they'll probably be pleased with this Ooh, people i am very much so blown away this is such a good ooh. it's so sweet it kind of has like this almost like this high pitch uh milky sweetness to it and then it gets a little playful it's like something's fruity in there but it, it may not be um and then that oud is just really smooth really chill laid back it ain't taking itself too seriously and it's not coming off too weak it's still bold but it's just super pleasant oud people i like that I'm trying to set these samplers up for this picture later on now that's gonna be that's gonna be the test. This next one we're gonna try. I can still smell that old people, bro. That's just great. Next one, mogul. I love the fact that these dabbers are easy to come out of here. I ain't gotta like lose and drop the bottle. Okay, that one's woodier. Like a really sharp woody. Almost like a cedar. <clears throat> like a cedar wood almost. Some sweetness in there, possibly like a vanilla, maybe. It's a little bit of like a tanginess in there and like in the in the top portion of it. Um Yeah, that's some tanginess in there. I'm not sure if it's lemon or anything like that, or some sort of citrus. But there's like a little bit of a tanginess right at the top. There's some definite sweetness in there. The wood is a little bit more dry and um, a little bit more smoky. Comes off like a, it's a nice, really nice cedar wood. So we're going to try this on skin as well. We'll come down a little bit further. Uh, a little bit on the top, top right portion of the upper wrist.
Okay. It's really nice. I'm not sure if there's any vetiver, but it kind of has like that sort of a that fuzzy, earthy, woody, grassy vibe like vetiver would. I got my ceiling fan on at the moment, so I'm not able to catch as much of it as I would like. Sorry about that if y'all hear those fireworks outside going off. Yeah, well, on hand, on skin, I'm catching like that high pitch uh, woodiness, like that really high pitch dry smoke on that woody vibe and just a little bit of tang in the opening. I'm not sure if it's from a citrus or not. That's annoying, bro. That and fireworks. That's really good. I should have cut my ceiling fan off so that I can really get into my fragrances. I, just, I feel like it's making it. I feel like it's making it leave my hand a little, a little sooner. One thing I will say, the quality on these is unmistakable. And you can just tell that when you smell a fragrance that the person who created it, you can just tell that they care a little bit more. As corny as that may sound. This one is called Leather Boy. You want to check this one out? On the track list, this is number eight. Listen, now we only got through two fragrances and we already already at 16 minutes on this video because I'm not editing anything. I get that leather, but it's like it's kind of fleeing a little bit. I don't want to drop this. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like leather. I like a good leather with a little bit of a tanginess in there as well. There's some people that don't like leather. I like it on my skin. It smells amazing on my skin. I like this one. This reminds me of a serious variation of like a Tuscan leather or ombre leather. It just reminds me of just it's a little more serious, a little more um a little, a little bit more well blended and mature. I think for those who don't like those two fragrances would probably love this one. There's people out there that really don't like leather. I am not one of them. I love it. It's a slightly sweet, like a cold leather, it feels like. I've had some leathers where they feel a little warm. Uh, they feel like they have almost like a, like a spice to it almost, like it's just too much. Uh, some I've seen some leathers where they smell more like a couch or a car seat. This one has like that cold leather to it, but you don't vision like a car seat almost like a coat like a leather coat in the winter and if you can get just a little bit of that smell putting it on it kind of gives me that vibe but just a sweet but it, uh with the sweetness added and like this little bit of a tangy vibe added as well leather boy And our last one for tonight, track number three, Ambiguous. I haven't looked up any notes for these. When I was on the website like a few days ago, I saw the notes, but I don't remember any of them. Um, but I noticed that he do utilize um, rose quite a bit, utilizes some decent amount of woods, uh, lotus, lily, uh, I think he used Freesia and some fragrances. Um, yeah, I was noticing some of the things he was using. And I'm very much so interested in seeing what this guy got. I'm going to try this one out. This one is ambiguous. I'm going to try this on the 
mid forearm. Try to get a decent amount of it on my arm. Let it get a little bit of a dry down. And then we'll smell the dapper itself. Oh, it's some cannabis in here, I believe. This one, I get some cannabis in here. This one is sweet, kind of tart. Um, it kind of has that cannabis vibe, but it may not. Whoo! I believe that's what's in here, though. You got that green herbaceous vibe to it, really full. Kind of got like a slight, slight little, like, dank to it, but not too much. It's not you. It's good. I love a good fragrance that can utilize some cannabis and it doesn't smell like you just you just burn one. Um and I keep saying cannabis and there may not even be cannabis in here, but it smells like it, yo. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Like I said, it's kinda like this really full, almost like a tart candy vibe. Just slightly in the beginning, you get some sweetness. You get like a really full, bold, and like warm herbaceous vibe. And then you get like just that little bit of that funk almost comes up. I can't even call it funk. I'd say just that, that slight peppery tinge that... that it would have that's what i pick up like i said i could be completely off though and you know, just me guessing off of what i'm smelling but that smells good so far all four of these are aces in my book uh, i love all four of these for different reasons i think this sample doesn't want to stand up that's fine i love all four of these for different reasons they each have their own unique qualities about them everything is extremely well blended um, I can't wait to get a full bottle of these fragrances and I can really get some good wearings. Uh, what I may do actually, since these vials are actually a pretty decent size, see if I can find some atomizer bottles around here, maybe a couple two mil atomizer or three mil and pour it in there and I can spray it on instead of dabbing it. Dabbing it gets a little, uh, a little tedious trying to utilize that. That is it for this video, you guys. That's just me unboxing uh, the Elemental Fragrance. Like I said, the branding, you can tell that he takes himself serious. He takes the branding serious, uh, and it makes you very so inter very much so interested in what he has to offer next. Uh, it makes you very much interested in purchasing bottles because you just want to see what the presentation is going to be like and, and, and what's to come. Uh, this is very just a full presentation and it made me feel really special receiving this and being able to smell some of these with you guys. We reached 23 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and shut this down here. Uh, but yeah, definitely go and check them out online. I'll drop the link in the description where you guys can check this out for yourself. TheElementalFragrance.com. Uh, I am very much so impressed. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you guys soon. Peace.